something that I've never read before here uh, or in any public reading. It's a favorite passage of mine. Uh, it's from chapter 43, Only the Pasta is Real. Eduardo enjoyed being a waiter. The efficiency of his movements, the alertness to detail, the energizing tug of his sixth sense. Who needs water? Who needs a drink? Who wants to pay their bill but doesn't know it yet? These were capacities he manifested with pride. He did think it a bit odd that Roberto's was packed on a Thursday evening, but you couldn't always predict. Standing now in his starched white shirt, black vest, and black tie against the blue velvet drapes dividing the garlic redolent kitchen from the sedate and carpeted dining area, he was alive to everything in the room. He sensed that the family of four at table three needed water and noodled Julio into action with a modest dip of his chin. He noticed that among the large family dining early this evening, they occupied table 10, the big round one in the far corner. The children were restless and about to become rambunctious. That bore watching. He knew with mounting certainty that within the next five minutes, the eight-year-old would upset his mother's glass and flood the tablecloth with blood-red wine. Perhaps a subtle intervention now would save both the waitstaff's burden and the family's laundry bill. At the same time, he sensed that the couple at table seven, either newlyweds or recently engaged, he had seated them at the most discreet and least visible location, were keen to abandon the restaurant for their hotel room and rip off each other's clothes in a white-hot rush of passion. Quickly he began to weave his way through the tables, knowing the man would be signaling for the check by the time he reached them. He'd been observing the man's restless right hand beneath the tablecloth on a stealth mission to explore the underside of the woman's bendel skirt. Bowing slightly, smiling subtly, Eduardo made sure to drain the remaining ounces of the Guerrero Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon, his suggestion, into each of their glasses before producing the check and accepting the platinum credit card. But good looks and waitering creds figured only slightly in Eduardo's story. He had other skills. He was a computer maven who was uncommonly adept at disguise, codenamed Mandrake. He'd been recalled to the States 20 years ago after a brilliant undercover career on four continents because his high-tech skills were needed in New York. Even now, the largest room of his fourth-floor walk-up on East 54th Street resembled a sophisticated computer lab. Head waitering at Roberto's had at first been a cover, but when he'd retired from the company five years ago, he decided he enjoyed it. So why not? I think I'll stop there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Leslie, again for that splendid reading. Thank you all for coming.